Yo, what's good, y'all? Welcome back to another video of Columbus Aviators franchise. This is gonna be the official. I said official. <laughs> it's gonna be the official uh, gameplay. We're not gonna do preseason. We're gonna talk about the team and see how they did in these first three games against in preseason. We're not gonna look at these teams we're facing because this preseason doesn't really matter too much. In the regular team, see, face Cowboys Week One. Um. Yeah, but we're going to just look at this team. My main concern for this team, like, when I do look at it, even on the offensive side, I do like it. Our quarterback, uh, Matt Wes. I learned his name. His name is Matt Wes. 23, pretty old for a rookie. 6'2". Decent. Throw power, like I said, that's a big, big concern for me. Uh, accuracy. These are just things to work on. But he is very fast, very much the scrambling type. Um, I don't know how we're going to use him. It's going to be a struggle, I know that. But our wide receivers, not the best. And Cody McPherson, not the best. 5'11", 25, obviously. I don't think we have any, like, real deep threats, even though his catching is very good. Maybe we could work with something. <laughs> I did take two tight ends, and I think it was this guy. Yeah, it was John Hudges. I mean, I just think they look too good in terms of catching. Route running, obviously, you're going to need some more. But I just think of, they just look like possession guys, really. Well, they could go up and get the ball if they need to, too. How tall is he? 6'2"? I don't know. That's... That's night. <laughs> I mean, my receiver was 5'11", so I can't really complain about that. And Cam Gibson, who's also 6'2". So not the tallest tight ends, and they're decent speed for tight ends. But I was saying the biggest concern for this team moving forward is going to be the offensive line. Mainly the guards, as you see. Uh, Spencer Ross did not notice. I was going to say Sean Ross. That's, <laughs> that's someone else. Uh, Spencer Ross is, I don't know, he's decent. He's an 11-year pro, 33. I'm actually going to be looking to replace him uh, within this first season. Um, just not really that good anymore. Pretty still decent at pass block. I mean, he's he has decent for a 73 overall. The things that you want to be decent are decent. Strength is an 88. I mean, that is plus 4. Run block is plus 3 right now. I mean, he's playing up, but still. The things that you want to be good are decent enough to play. And the White Wilts. Not the White Wilts. Daniel Witt. What? I'm just making up names as I go at this point. He's really decent as a rookie. Like, this is what you want as a rookie. As you see, the last offensive tackle. I mean, offensive tackle. Offensive guard. He was a, a 73 and... But the big question marks on this defense is going to be the outside linebackers. Because um, the way I like to run my team, I usually don't like to have my linebackers, or well, outside linebackers anyways, in coverage. I like my outside linebackers rushing. But the way this team is built, we already got two good edge rushers. So I think I'm going to have to have these outside linebackers in coverage. Like, it sucks to have that, but I'm going to have to have that. As you see, Mar Marquise Belton, we took him kind of high. I think we took him with the fourth pick or the second pick. I don't know what it was. I think it was the fourth pick. But he's he he, he was our guy to take. Um, I think he looks really good. How tall is he? 6'2", 259. We got a lot of 6'2 guys on this team. And on the other edge, we have an established guy who's only 25, superstar dev. I don't know. He's decent. I don't think he's really, like, amazing. That um, Power moves is good. You got to work on that finesse. Tackle, probably the best out of everything. Good strength. And how tall is he? 6'4", 273. That's a stud. Look at his arms. That, that, that's a stud. But, yeah, that's I think that's the only holes on this team, as you see. Like I was mentioning, the outside linebackers. 26, 6'4", 256. Can't cover worth a bit. His zone's on 44. 
decently fast for a linebacker, 86 speed. He obviously is going to be playing those, like, um, outside spots. Outside linebacker, obviously, what am I saying? But I don't know. And the other outside linebacker, Jamie Paris, 6'4", 261. 83 speed. Not very fast, but once again, they can't really cover like that. Like, they're more of pass rushers. But what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to change the scheme fit. I said I was going to do it in the offseason, never end up doing it. So I guess now is the best time to do it. You see, they got to turn the pistol, and that's like a 10% scheme fit. No one's going to be, like, working off that. West Coast is 64. And I mean, scheme fit only really matters, in my opinion, in the XP department and the training, how much XP you get in training. So the best thing we have so far is West Coast spread. And that's all I'm really seeing. So I'm just going to go West Coast spread. And for a defense, best thing so far, the sky's 3-4. Um, I'm, I'm like, ah, I guess. I don't know. 3-4 under? I guess. I mean, that's just the biggest thing. But the third thing that matters is the playbook or runner. Usually... I would go either Chiefs offense and Baltimore defense. I always go Baltimore defense for some reason, just every time. But I think this time I'm going to – I'll switch it up throughout the year if I don't like what's going on. We're going to stick with um, – What's where, I'm, I think I just went through all the teams twice. Tampa Bay, that's what I want. Tampa Bay, and then we'll stick with Bucks defense, right? Not Bucks defense. Buffalo, not Buffalo. What's this team? I just said it. Baltimore. I literally, I'm everywhere right now. All right, I think that's good. I think that's good. Um, we're gonna hire scouts. Like I think our biggest need on these teams, or on this team at least, uh, they they think it's free safety. I'm like, right, no, right now it's not. Are we going to look for a tier three either? I'm looking for like a linebacker coach, preferably outside linebacker. And so far, I'm just not seeing that. Just not. See, I wish if we did middle linebacker, it would... Uh, his secondary position or his position expertise to would at least be, like, right outside or left outside. But it's not. And there's nothing we could do about that. But I think our best bet is signing him. And our second one is tight end. See, we don't want that, though. There we go. All right, we have everything we kind of need. Our main focus is middle linebacker and wide receiver for the draft. Not really what I want, but it's kind of what we have to take. Actually, I might switch that. I might switch. If they have it, I have to check what they have. It. If they have a tier two, yeah, they have a tier three wide receiver coach. I'm doing that. Now we can kind of get into this game. This is just like a becoming a very long video. I've been recording for 22 minutes and I haven't done nothing. I mean, we won that game. We can... Can we look at box score? Is that a thing? So he only completed like 15 yards. And did he throw the ball at all? I can't tell. Oh, he did. He was four for three. Or three for four. Yeah, three for four he was. Didn't score a touchdown, but he threw 15 yards. But I mean... Kevin Burton did play really well. Completed 18 passes out of 28. Not bad. I mean, good for Kev. Played a good portion of that game. Let's see how our running back did. 53 yards, 25 yards. Not bad receiver. 97 for Aaron Nicholson. Quinn first and 75. Julian Jackman scored a touchdown. Alone did Randy DeConte. Defense. Tackles for loss. We got two. Kenny Goldson and Simon Goldstein. 
the Gold Brothers. I mean, that could be a little duo. And we win again. This time, 22. Oh, my God. I forgot. I, just, uh, I, I missed the thing I was supposed to do. All right. Um, <laughs> I just missed the thing. I remember I was seeing it, then I just went ahead. Um, what do we want for Marquise Belton? I think I said he had bad power moves, I think. Or would he have good power moves? I'm going to just go power move for now. Plus three power moves and finesse. I think this is the last week of... Have we had an injury? Who got injured? Kobe McPherson. Oh, my God. That was one of our... That was our highest-rated receiver. Now he's out for seven weeks. Damn near half the season. So even if we did want to trade him, he is 25. Even though we did want to trade him, I think he would have had decent trade value. Um, we can't. We're going to place him on IR. Camp standout. Who was the camp standout? Was it um our right end? Our very high overall, fourth overall pick? I think it was. Yeah, it was. So we get two combined sacks and tackle for loss with Marquise against the Jaguars. We're facing the Jaguars? We're not. Okay, whatever. Set season goal. I'm going to set our goal to... I mean... I I have to set it very low. We're a, we're a relocation team. Ba I would say basically... Kind of an expansion team, honestly. And you know what kind of bugged me out about this? No teams relocated in the 20 years we simmed. Not one? Come on, bro. That's just kind of... Oh, no. What is our key to victory? Being honest, we got to depend on our defense. Offense is nowhere it needs to be. We have an injured player on in our offense. Um, yeah. We got to do stuff in the run because I, just, I really don't think we're going to be able to... Um, I don't think we're going to be able to stop the pass. With our linebackers in coverage, definitely not. And this is about the rookie QB. This is the first time we've been hearing about the rookie QB. And I have to be honest. We got to put no expectations. And just like that, he earns a thousand XP. All right, we're gonna look at this. Uh, what team was this? Cowboys. I was gonna say Broncos team. I don't know why that's in my head. All right, look at this Cowboys team. And just by looking at the top people, they have a good team. Let's just be honest about it. QB is 36-year-old Mitchell Smith. And uh, he's an X-Factor. It took very long to go into that screen. Uh, yeah, pretty decent quarterback. I mean, pretty decent. Not super fast, but overall, pretty good. Pretty good. Austin Burrow, I mean, he's he's not super fast, but uh, he could go off if we don't contain him the right way. And I think their receiving core is pretty good. As I said, yeah, I think they are pretty good here. Christopher Wall. Glenn Williams. James Yarbrough, I mean, they have a pretty good receiving core, man. Can't lie about that. Tight end, decent. I don't really care about the offensive line. They got, I don't see when he got a good pass rush. Oh, my God. Why are the Cowboys so good in every game? All right. Their linebacking core is not the best, and I say that, and they have <laughs> Shaquem Sheffield. Or Sheffield. Corners, all right, that's kind of a weak spot in the game. What about safeties? Okay, for the most part, they don't have a good secondary, for the most part. Not going to lie, Marquise Belton is right. Daniel Witt, not so much. I'd rather have my quarterback in there. Why don't they have my quarterback in there? Uh, 
and uh, Pat Hobbs. All right, let's get right into this game. Wasted a lot of time. 30 minutes introducing the team. This could have been a video in itself. It might be a video in itself. I don't know. Um, I am going to try to upload this series as consistent as I can. I'm currently recording this on a Wednesday. I think it's, yep, it is Wednesday. It is Wednesday. Recording this on a Wednesday. This probably will go out on a Friday or maybe Saturday. Latest Monday for sure. But I'm going to try to get back to my old upload Monday, Wednesday, Fridays. I will try. Getting back in the funk of things is a little tough. Um... But, uh, I mean, I'm here for it. I really am here for it. I feel like I'm going to do very bad in this game. But this is the bad game we need to get out the way. This Cowboys team is very underrated. And, I mean, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I uh, haven't really played Madden in this way in a very long time. Like, you see me play against, like, a person. Like, they, I can do that stuff, but... I mean, even that stuff is kind of harder than this. We'll see how I do. I don't know. I'm putting very low expectations on myself. Even though I put low expectations on my quarterback, too. This game is on 15 minutes. <laughs> we got to quit. And just so you can see, this game is on all Madden simulation. If it would load, I can... All right, there we go. <laughs> yeah, it's on all Madden simulation. Um, Where's the clock? Where's the clock? Where is the clock? Oh. I'm gonna go eight minutes. Bro, I can't. I, what is wrong with my game right now? It's like every time I try to back out, it just freezes for a little bit and then it goes. Alright. Just get straight into the game. Straight into the game. Straight into the game. No fooling around. And our quarterback, for the first time this season, officially, he's gonna make his way to the field. They should have showed his speed, because that's what he's good at. Like, if you look at this, just it doesn't look good. He just looks like a regular quarterback. But he's actually more than just a regular quarterback. He has a very elite speed. I'm sending too many deep routes. But there are two underneath routes, so I'm not that worried. Good play. Good play. By running back. I already forgot his name. I really don't know his name. I'm gonna go play action after running the ball. They somewhat fall for it. This is a bad throw. I didn't think he would really run up there with him, but he did. Look at our draft class. Very good picks. About five picks in the first round, which beautiful. You love to see stuff like that. We're gonna take off. All right, uh, I tried to slide and it did not let me slide. I really did try to slide, it just didn't let me. I really did. Should I have slide earlier? Yes, definitely I should have. All right, they actually pass here. For some reason, I, I didn't see him. I'm switching with that. And we get a sack right there. Brandon Monk, I think that was his name. I can't remember. He comes in with a sack and it becomes second and 23 now. I think, I, I'll just guess a pass is coming right here. And it is. And another sack. That time for Beltran. Back-to-back -back sacks. And this kind of takes him out of field goal range. I would suspect. No way. I mean, he, he got so lucky on that. I mean, they gained about, what, maybe seven yards on that to make it fourth and 26. But, I mean, our pressure got in really well. I mean, he just got lucky on that. Pressure got in really well. They're going to settle for a field goal. 
Not that far one. I mean, if we could have, like, prevented them from getting those seven, eight yards, whatever it was, uh, yeah, we would have stopped them from scoring. But you end up getting the field goal right there off of our fumble. Good way to truck them a little bit. Don't really know how you, a little guy, did that, but good way to do it. My main look is going to be Jackman and then uh, Page, but that's what I'm thinking right now. Come on. What, what a beautiful ball. A really good ball, too. Like, I seen him open, and by the time I was running, I'm like, I have to try to get this ball to him. And good thing we really did get the ball to him, but it's a really well-placed ball. Got hit while we were throwing it, too. Or kind of like after, but an even better catch. An even better catch. I think that's going to separate. It might make the linebacker follow. We'll, we'll just see. It might make the linebacker follow, and then these two streaks on the left side should get open. And it did exactly that. But, I mean, I, it felt like my linebacker, not my linebackers, my two receivers on the left side just never got off the break. And when they did, they just, they just never created space. We're actually blitzing right here. Good tackle. Beautiful tackle. We are really shutting down this run, which I do like, and that is a tackle for loss. Nobody there, bro. Nobody got in. I mean, I feel like we can't stop this run. And one of our uh, linebackers are injured, I believe. And another one. The next linebacker's injured. Both linebackers are hurt. And he has a uh, Achilles sprain. He's going to have to sit. Being honest, he's going to have to sit for a little bit. Or maybe the entire game. I don't know. Come on. This is incredible, bro, how nobody got in. What a tackle. I like that. Like that one a lot, right off the edge. Big tackle for loss. Oh my god. Beautiful. A big sack of that one. No, it's fourth actually. I mean they settled for another field goal. And I mean they kinda wasted that whole quarter. Cause we gave the ball up right where the quarters ended. We ended on a sack. And I mean now we're getting the ball back in the same quarter with the two minute warning. So um I don't really know how I feel about that. Come on. Give me some blocks. There we go. And right like that, we're on midfield. One play. Right on midfield. Yeah, just under pressure that time. They got in very quickly. Hope we get this. Don't try to use my feet. We fumble again. Oh man, we fumbled twice in this first half. Good. Call time out. They're going to punt this ball back to us, and we're going to have another chance. We fumbled twice. I'm, oh, man. Fumbling twice. 
That's that is super tough, man. Just couldn't it cu couldn't get to it. Not good. Really bad the first half. I'm gonna be honest, I did not see him. I didn't even know he was on a route. Come on, get to him. Let's go. Another sack for the first half. Oh my god, I'm running a bad play. This was a horrible play for us. But they might fumble it. I don't know. This clock is going to run down a little bit. Oh, what a big knockout. Ah, if you would have just... Somehow let that clock tick a second longer. We could have stopped a field goal. I don't think this ices them in any way. Damn. I mean, I, I like the way we played. Yeah, I like it. Can you get off the block, man? That is so weird to me that every time they would do the same thing, like we would have run and they're getting blocked. They would magically get off the block every time. Was that post? I'm not gonna, oh, let's go. Oh, we force a fumble, we don't get it. We force a fumble, we don't get it. How do we not get the fumble? How do we not recover that? Rethink that. What? No. Oh, is that short? Or, yeah, it's just a clear first down. I couldn't keep up with that. I had to know that route was coming, and I just didn't. We are just going to play inside, though. Let's go. Force another field goal. We're not mad at that, but we do know coming out of this, we have to score. Like, that's just what it is. We just have to fucking score. Let's get our blocks. Good. Oh, he was gone, but I don't... That animation was so weird. Like, it pushed him to the outside, and then he just stopped, like, kind of running for a little bit. Well, this is a dead play. I could guarantee it. Maybe not. Maybe not. Going out of bounds. All right. That actually worked out. What was it? Third and two. Let's run it. Let's run it. Let's run it. Big yards. Oh, my God. That worked. That worked. All right. I'm proud of that. I was well prepared to just run. Good catch. On the one. I was so scared someone was going to jump that. They're challenging that. Not a bad challenge. I don't even know who caught it. It might even be a touch now. Nah, it won't. It won't. <laughs> I saw the cone moving. I'm like, that might be a touch now. It's not. 
What's the call? What's the call? Yep, call stands first and goal. I think our best bet right here is to run it in. Just waste no time. And there you go. Touchdown. First touchdown for either team. I mean, our defense is really good. I did say I want a defense play one. I did. I don't know if we're holding them under 75 rushing yards, but... Fuck it. That's a good play. I just got a whole bunch of yards, man. I just didn't know where to go. Fuck. Oh my god. Should have been an enter. That's just horrible, bro. I want to switch on so bad, but I'm like, I'm gonna trust him. Sure, I never trust him again. There we go. Good catch. I didn't know that. Well, now we kind of have to get this. Don't. It's a good catch. Good catch by the tight end right there. Oh, go up, go up, Phil. Create some space for us. Good catch. Keep the drive alive. Again. Depending how we handle this. Come on. I didn't want to rack it because I didn't even think he was going to catch it. Let me get a first down. It's huge. It just seems like an easy run right here, so I'm just going to make it an easy run. And we score another touchdown. Like, it takes a lot of time for us to get downfield since we can't, like, stretch the field a lot. But when we do get a touchdown... We do, and it, it, it's a game again. It's a two-point game. Are you serious? Damn. Good tackle. Start the clock. Another stop. See, this is kind of where it gets tricky because they could kind of do anything they want here. Have to get a stop. Make a play. Make a fucking play. Oh my god, I trusted him. I said I wouldn't trust him anymore, but I did. All right, we have a chance to go downfield and get three. We have one time left, 146 to work with. I mean, on the four, I'm not too mad at that. I think I might have to make my running back a receiver. Just to make sure I can get a route out. Pfft, overthrown. Out of all the overthrown balls we had today, that's the one. I'm not even mad at that. I'm obviously going to lose here, but... But we played our ass off. Yeah, I was just saying. Our, our, our quarterback... Needs to work on the pocket, pockets presence. We need to work on passing from the pocket. Work on our accuracy, really. That's just really what it is. Just accuracy work is the biggest deal. Um, He didn't throw horribly, honestly. I was going to say 19. 16, not 16. 29 for 16. 
on 211 yards, no touchdowns. He threw it into at the end. That wasn't too bad. I mean, he threw similarly to us, so not really that bad in that regard. Rushing the ball, I mean, they had more assists towards the end. We kind of stopped in the beginning, but they kind of got those yards at the end. Uh, our running back did fairly good. Had two touchdowns on the day, some goal line touchdowns. And receiving the ball, uh, Julian uh, Julian Jackman did decent. It wasn't really that effective. I mean, you kind of threw it to a lot of people on our team, honestly. Julian Jackman, John Hughes, a tight end, Aaron Nicholson. Just a couple people we threw it to. It wasn't like a very dominating game by us. And if we look at tackles for loss, Don Walters had three tackles for loss. Jose Hills had two. Steve Beltran, two. Brandon Monk, two. And even on the sacks, we had like four people with sacks. Nathan, Steve, Brandon, Don. Pretty decent. I mean, our defense was the star of the show. We didn't end up completing that goal, holding them under 75 rushing yards. They had about 88, so we were close, but really couldn't end up doing that. Week two, we were going to face the Cardinals. This is a home game, our first home game, I think. And it is going to be our first home game. I'm going to set regional scout focusing on the off screen. We come back, we're going to get into this game. Another road game. Uh, we'll see how this Cardinals team is looking. Looking at the division, Packers go up a game, Bears up a game, Vikings lose, and we lose. That is going to do it for us in this video. If you enjoy it, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and see you next video. Until the next video. Got a good bitch that live in a jack. I hit it for neck and nothing except we hit up that nigga. We put him on scoop. I dropped out of school. I'm eating this cool. My bitch looking cute. She rocking them hoops. Why three on her boots? No Yeezy, I boots. I'm smoking some booth. Why I'm in the booth? I know that's cliche, but I'm telling the truth. And she said she with you. I said that was cool. As long as I'm true, just like I'm from.